Ryan email. Uh, what? what uh, no, I will explain. Um, there is an association consisting of 109 municipalities in Sweden and, and regions, Sandbruk. And they decided to use the English Fix My Street system, which is an open source system. It's, you can download it, you can use it. I'm sure you've taken a look into it. Um, and basically what they have done is an adaption. Um, it is completely, uh, what do you call, uh, responsive. So this is what you get if you, if, if you use a mobile phone. It does the same trick, more or less, that, that we saw here. Um, we rely on maps, of course. Um, I'm so old, so I don't see anything anymore. Um, okay, this is my post number, so I just see what happens near to where I live. And you can see a few things that have been marked on the map, and you can upload uh, uh, images, etc. Um, maybe this differs a little from, from yours, because we can see all reports from whole Sweden officially. So if we take a look at Darling Source, which is one municipality, we can see everything that is reported in that city here. Uh, why? Well, if a municipality is not uh, using these systems, and they get a lot of reports that are, re uh, that are marked not fixed, they will fix them. Uh, because if you make things public, if you make things visible, they get fixed very much quicker than if you don't make it public. So that is why you always should, should have on your home page, persons have complained on this and this and this, and if you make it public, it will be fixed much quicker. Uh, but basically, this, this works on email um, and post numbers. So I can, I can either use the map or I can say the problem is within this post number. And then there is one small, small thing that prevents this from being very good, and that is that the post number system in Sweden is not owned by the state, but by the post. So I'm not allowed to use the system without paying the them a lot of money, which is completely system. stupid. Same completely system. stupid. I can't put a list of post numbers into my database because then I would be sued by the post office. <laughs> and that makes development much more difficult if you want to develop quick and small things. And, and this is a remain from the time when the post office was a part of the state. Then they made it a company and the company took this system with them. So a part of the official infrastructure is owned by a company. But I just wanted to show you that there, there is a lot of this type of um, um, software available as open source. And I mean, you, you have a very good programming industry in Estonia. So use it. Thank you. Thank you.